we're getting deeper into synthetic division now. Uh, it's time to learn how to use synthetic division to factor a polynomial, given that you know what some of the other factors are. So in this example, I've got uh, this cubic polynomial, and I'm just going to tell you that x minus 3 and x plus 3 are factors of that polynomial, and I want to fully factor it. So here we go. Let's use synthetic division. And uh, you know what? Let's start off. Let's start off by dividing this by x minus 3. Okay, so what does that mean for the synthetic division bar? That means our first root is 3, the first root that we're looking for. So get this out of here now. I don't need that. So what are the coefficients? I have 1x cubed minus 4x squared minus 9x and positive 36. So you should be quick at synthetic division by now. Uh, negative 12. Not to say you won't make mistakes from time to time, but, you know. Okay, so look at that. We've got a remainder of 0, which is good because I told you that x minus 3 was a factor. And if you had a remainder that was not 0, then you'd know I was a liar. So now what? Now what this is telling us is that x cubed minus 4x squared minus 9x plus 36 over x minus 3 equals x squared minus x minus 12. Okay, now maybe you're seeing where the factoring is, maybe not. I just want to write this again. I'm just going to rearrange it a little bit. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 9x plus 36. That's the top. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by x minus 3. Well, what happens to the left? When you multiply by x minus 3, it just gets chopped out. It goes away. And it moves over to the right side, x minus 3. Okay, But I still have x squared minus x minus 12. Now, if you look at this for a moment, you realize what I've done here is I have factored out x minus 3. I've pulled out that factor from the larger polynomial here. And I've written this thing now in partially factored form. Okay, so this is good progress. And what I would really recommend is that you now factor this uh, with your normal techniques. You know, use the big X or whatever you like to do uh, to factor this guy. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to use synthetic division to continue factoring something after you factored one thing out. This is going to become useful later on. I'm not just doing this to waste your time. Uh, so let's take that synthetic division and continue on with it. What you do at this point is you draw a new synthetic division bar. And we have a new quotient. See this guy? Let's pull a different color in here. This is my new quotient. I'm going to now try to pull out that other factor. Remember x plus 3? I told you there were two factors. We're going to use x plus 3 now as a factor. And I'm going to pull that out. Okay, so this guy's in my way. Let's keep on going. That's 1, negative 3, negative 4, turns into positive 12, turns into 0. I'm glad to see 0 because that means, yes, uh, x plus 3 is also a factor. Now what do we have? Now we can rewrite this thing as x cubed minus 4x squared minus 9x plus 36 equals, here was that first factor we pulled out, x minus 3, remember, that was this guy. Okay, And now we have another factor we just found, x plus 3, from this one right here. So we say x plus 3. And what's left over? Well, it's this part right here. Those are the quotients of the leftovers. That's x uh, plus 4. No, 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 no. What am I doing? x minus 4. Okay? So we have fully factored this polynomial. Now, remember, I don't want you guys doing synthetic division as a way to factor quadratics. That's just dumb. But we're going to get into um, factoring fourth order polynomials, maybe fifth order polynomials, where you have to do synthetic division a few times. So this is how it works. Now, one last question you may have is, well, this is great if there's someone on a video telling you exactly what the factors are, right? But how do you know how to factor something if you don't know what, the, what some of the factors are? And that is a question we will get to later. You'll probably wish I never asked, but uh, that's coming.